Hello everyone, welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that Shakuni has an octagonal prism with eight rectangular faces and two octagonal faces. So if you can see this, the top and the bottom are octagons and these sides are rectangles. 5, 6, 7 and 8. So 8 rectangles and 2 octagons. Now on each face a distinct number from 3 to 12 is written. Two digits are said to be adjacent or opposite each other if the faces containing the two digits are adjacent or opposite respectively. So for example, if you look at this and this, these are opposite faces. Similarly, if we consider this face and this face, these are opposite faces, right? But if we consider, let us say, these two faces, these two are adjacent faces. Similarly, if you take any of the uh, faces along with the octagonal face that will be adjacent okay so adjacent and opposites so opposites denoted by dots here and adjacent denoted by this arrows uh, then it is given that the numbers on the faces opposite each other were added and their sum was noted all such sums were found to be consecutive numbers so the sums are consecutive numbers okay and the sum of all the numbers on the faces adjacent to the face containing 10 is 58 now first thing we will do is we will add the numbers from 3 to 12 so we have n by 2 a plus l using the ap formula we get the sum as 75 right now 75 should be expressed as a sum of five consecutive numbers so whenever you have to add consecutive numbers always remember that the middle number is average of the sum okay so middle number will be since there are five sums because there are 10 uh, 10 uh, numbers so there will be five pairs right you are adding the pairs opposite faces so we have five pairs pairs have consecutive numbers so the middle number is 15 okay you take one value lower one value higher one value lower and one value higher so these are the sums that you get then it says sum of all the numbers on the faces adjacent to the face containing 10 is 58 okay suppose 10 is present in one of the rectangular faces let's say that 10 is present on this face now if 10 is present here then we have only 1, 2, okay, then 3 and 4 uh, adjacent faces. Now their sum cannot be 58 even if you take the largest values possible, okay, you cannot get 58 as the sum, right. So what does it mean is the, the 10 will be present in one of the octagonal faces. So suppose 10 is present here, now it has several or in fact 8 adjacent faces now that is possible to make the sum 58 okay so that sum is 58 now this is 10 uh, these uh, faces are 58 so total 68 and the grand total is 75 75 so this will be 7 okay so we have 17 as 10 plus 7 now one of the questions is which number is on one of the octagonal faces the answer is 7 now we will try to figure out how these sums are possible like 13 14 15 16 17 so let us note the numbers so we have 3 4 5 6 8 9 11 and 12 we need to add these numbers to get three different pairs now let's start with 13 3 cannot make 13 because 3 10 is not present so either 4 will make 13 or 5 will make 13 so let us take 4 and 9 so if you take 4 and 9 for 13 so if we take 4 and 9 right now we have to make 14 okay 14 uh, 3 and 11 if you make so let's say if you make 3 and 11 as 14 so we have to make 15 and 16 now we cannot make 15 like 5 5 8 13 5 12 17 so we cannot make 15 and 16 in that case okay if you make 3 11 let's see if we can make 14 using any other method 
so we can also make using 6 and 8 okay so there is a possibility that we make 6 and 8 and make 14 right now 6 and 8 makes 14 we have to make 15 and 16 so if you take 3 and 12 we can make 15 and the remaining 5 and 11 can make 16 that is one of the possibilities right now let us think of another case where can we get 13 as a total okay so <clears throat> we said that 3 with 3 it is not possible now let us look for al another case which can make 13 so if we take 5 and 8 that is also 13 okay so if we take 5 and 8 that is 13 now we need to make 14 3 can go with 11 because 4 10 is not possible 6 8 is not possible so 3 11 can make 14 right that is also done we need to make 15 and 16 now 4 and 12 can make 16 and 6 and 9 are making 15 so these are two ways in which we can make the sum okay now let us answer the questions which number is on the face that is opposite to the face containing 4 so opposite 4 we may have either 9 or we may have 12 so there are two possibilities we cannot determine uniquely what is the least sum on a pair of opposite faces so the least sum is clearly 13 which of the following cannot be the sum on the uh, <coughs> on any three consecutive rectangular faces now if you see the rectangular faces uh, these are the numbers on the rectangular faces now as per this information if you see these numbers are large numbers okay considering uh, like 32 of 3 averages around 10 right so these are large numbers so let us check the largest possible sum so 12 11 9 if we check these numbers they add to 32 right so if you take these 12, 11 and 9, we get the sum as 32. So, 32 is possible. Okay. 10 cannot be taken. So, if you take 12, 11 and 8, 31 is also possible. Okay. Now, uh, 12, uh, 11, 7 cannot be taken because 7 is, 10 and 7 are not present. Okay. So, 12, 11, 7 is not possible. If you take 12, 11 and 6, right, we get 29. So, 29 is also possible. So, these numbers are possible. Now, let us think of like if not 12 or 11, can we take other numbers? So, if you think of other possibilities, if we take 9, 11, if you exclude 12, right? If you exclude 12, then the sum will even go down. Okay. Suppose we exclude 11. So, we take 12, 8 and uh, 9. So, we get 29. Right. So, if we do not take 11, if we take 12, 9, 8, we get 29. So, we are able to see that we cannot generate a sum of 30 using 3 of these numbers. Now, next question is, if 3, 4, 5 in that order are on 3 consecutive faces, what is the maximum possible sum on the faces adjacent to the face numbered 8? Okay. So, let us create a 2D version of it. So, there are two possible cases. It says 3, 4, 5 are on consecutive faces in that particular order. So, let us put 3, 4, 5, 3, 4, 5. Okay. Now, if we consider the first case, 3 is opposite to 12. Okay. And 5 is opposite to 11. And uh, 4 is opposite to 9. So, we have uh, 8 and uh, So, we have 8 left with us, right? So, uh, three, twelve, four, nine, and uh, 5, 11. Okay, so we have 3 left with us, 8 left with us. And if you take the second case, so we will see that which order gives the highest sum. So, we have 3, 4, 5. In this case, 8 is opposite to 5, okay. Opposite 3, we have 11. 
and opposite 4 we have 12. Okay, in this case, two numbers are left. Now, the task is to maximize the maximize the sum okay now uh, if you see this uh, this case right uh, in this in this case we can get there are eight numbers so three consecutive we have taken three four five in the two cases now in this case we can put 8 here like we can put 8 here or 8 here okay so in order to maximize the sum if you take this case this will give us only 14 right so we can put 8 in this place isn't it to, in order to maximize the sum now in this case 8 is already fixed right so we need to put we need to put uh, in this case 8 is fixed we have 4 and 12 fixed, right, uh, 3 and 11 fixed, 5 and 8 fixed, See, 6 and 9 is left with us, so we can make 9 here, okay, in order to maximize the sum, so we have to, we have two options, 9 and 6, so we will place like this, in this we had an option of 6 and 8, so we place like this, now if you see, in this case, the neighbors have higher sum, okay, 21, here the neighbors have 70. So we will consider this case. We need to find the maximum possible sum. So we will take this case. Now, do not answer 21 because these are two adjacent faces. Remember, these are rectangular faces. They have the top and the bottom also adjacent places. So one side we have 10 and on other side we have 7. So it has four adjacent faces. So maximum sum possible is 12 plus 9 plus 10 plus 7 that is 38 so this was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions